So in this mini tutorial we're going to think more about working with concentrations. And so the concentration uh, is represented by the lowercase c is the amount of uh, substance we have in moles in a particular volume of solution which we measure in litres. So it's the number of moles we have per litre. So the units of concentration when we're thinking about solutions is moles per litre. So for example if we have uh, 0.2 moles of a substance dissolved in one litre of solution we have a concentration of 0.2 moles per litre. And you can also write that as 0.2 molar with a capital M. And either moles per litre or molar, that's fine. You might see it written in both ways, but they're both equivalent. And the number of moles present, the amount in moles present, is related to the concentration and volume of the solution by the expression N equals C times V. And if we rewrite that with the, the, the units in just for clarity. So we've got the number of moles is equal to the concentration which you've seen just now is moles per litre multiplied by the volume which you measure in litres. So let's imagine that we have uh, 20 mils of a 2 molar solution. How many moles would there be of our substance in that solution? We just feed those values into our expression. So the, the amount in moles is equal to the concentration, which is 2 molar. So I'll write this out in full. So it's 2 moles per litre times the volume. Now, we've just said that the volume is measured in litres, but I've said we have 20 millilitres. So we have to write that 20 millilitres as litres. So 20 millilitres is equal. 0.02 litres and then we can cancel out some units so the per litre there cancels with the litre there just to leave us with the units of moles when we work this one out we get a final answer of 0.04 moles which is the units you would expect. Now what happens if uh, you dissolve a certain number of moles in a known volume of solution. What's the, the concentration of that solution? Well again we can use our relationship and just rearrange it slightly. So if we say we've said the number of moles equal to the concentration of volume. We've said we want to our unknown term here is the concentration so we need to isolate that. And we do that by dividing by volume. So the number of moles divided by the volume is equal to the concentration. So if we say that we have 0.5 moles of a solution of a substance and we divide it in 0.2 litres, so if we just write the units, 0.2 moles in 0.2 litres, the concentration of that solution will be 2.5 moles per litre. So because we've got the litres on the bottom there, it's the equivalent of writing 1 over litre, which is the same as saying litre to the minus 1 or per litre. And we can use also use the same um, relationship, n equals c times v. If uh, we, ha we want to know what volume we would need to dissolve a certain number of moles in, to reach a desired concentration. So let's say we have 0.5 moles and we want to produce a 2 molar solution. So again we just rearrange this in a slightly different way to say that N over C equals V. So you want to know what volume we would need to divide 0.5 moles in in order to get a 2 molar solution. And again if you put in the units moles over moles per litre, we'd end up with an answer of 
0.25 litres. So in this case the moles cancel and now you've got equivalent of writing 1 over per litre which equals litres and that's where the unit of litres comes here. So if you had the 0.5 moles and you wanted a 2 molar solution you'd need to dissolve that 0.5 moles in 0.25 litres.